Hi there. Welcome to this short tutorial video where we will show you how to get started using Verifile. Verifile is an ultra secure way to share messages and documents with anyone. It was built from the ground up to be extremely easy to use. So even if you consider yourself tech illiterate, this should be a very good product for you to use to share things securely with others. It also has patented encryption technology, which makes it more secure than any other cloud sharing or storage tool you might want to use. Most of those guys use at most one encryption key to encrypt all of your stuff. Whereas Verifile uses six encryption keys for every single individual item shared or viewed inside of Verifile. So it's extremely easy to use and extremely secure. So let's jump in and show you how to get started. First, you're going to want to navigate to www.verifile.com and click the button in the upper right hand corner that says sign up free. You're going to be asked for your email address and then your first and last name. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that information now. and click Next. Now it says, check your email. We sent an email to dhmart at yahoo.com to make sure you are you. So this is Verifile's way of confirming that I own the email address that I've used to sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and check my email account here. And you can see I have an email here from Verifile. It says Verifile Account Activation. I'm gonna open that email and it says, Dean Merkin, thank you for registering with Verifile. Please click the button below to activate your account. You will only have to activate your account once. So I'm going to click this button and I'm taken back into Verifile. I'll need to confirm that I'm not a robot. So I just need to check this box. And then it says, select all squares with traffic lights. Let's see if I can get this right on the first try. Well, one more try. I've confirmed I'm not a robot. That's great news. So this is a really important step. It says we've randomly generated a strong and unique password for you. Please copy the following password and store it somewhere safe or change it now. So this big green mess here is the password that's automatically been assigned to my account. So that's a really hard password to guess, but I might want to change it to something that I can more easily remember. If I decide not to change it, it probably makes sense for me to write that password down and put it somewhere safe. So I'm going to change my password to something I can remember. And click change password. Now I'm inside my Verifile account. So if I want to share a document and a message with someone, the first thing I need to do is add that person as a contact into my Verifile account. So I'm going to do that by clicking this blue button. It says add a contact. I'm going to enter my contact's first name, last name, and email address, and click add. Now you can see the contact that I added is here in the upper left hand corner. Dave Martin. And in the middle here is a private message thread between me and Dave Martin. This is where I can securely share documents and messages with Dave. If I had already shared some documents with Dave, they'd appear over here in the right hand column. It says attached documents. So I'm going to go ahead and type Dave a message. And then to give him a document, I just click the paper clip, just like I would in an email, and attach it. So I'm going to click this paper clip, attach a document. Now you can see the document's been attached. In green it says Request Signing. And there's a little checkbox here. So if I wanted Dave to sign this document, I could check this box and it would request digital signatures from Dave when he received the document. We're going to skip that step for now. But there is also a video that can show you exactly how digital signatures work in Verifile, and it's pretty cool. 
I'd advise you to check it out when you have a chance. But for now, I'm just going to share this message in this document with Dave. So I do that by clicking send. And there it is. From me, Dean, to Dave, I've shared this message and this document. Now, as soon as I did that, an email was sent to Dave, inviting him into Verify and letting him know that something has been shared with him. So I'd like to show you what Dave sees when he receives that email and when he goes into his own Verify account. So we're going to navigate over to Dave's email. And you can see here he's received a message. It says from Dean Merkin, that's me. It says new secure message via Verify. I'm going to open that message. You can see it says, Dave Martin, Dean Merkin has given you access to the following. Click items below to authenticate and decrypt. You'll notice that there's no attached document here and that the contents of the message are also not in this email. And that's because we believe strongly that email is not a secure way to share information. So we never attach documents to email and we never put messages into emails. What we do see here is a link that will take Dave into his own Verify account where he'll be shown the private message and he'll be able to access the document. So we're gonna go ahead and have Dave click this link. So Dave is now inside of Verify. Dave is gonna be asked to confirm he's not a robot and he's not. Dave is now being shown his own version of this very difficult to guess password. This is not the same as the one I was shown when I first came into Verify. So Dave should choose to either write this down or change it. I'm gonna go ahead and help Dave change his password. And now Dave is looking at his own Verify account. You can see that this is a private message with Dean Merkin and Dean has shared this document marketing update, and this message. Hi Dave, check out this summary. And Dave can now respond to me. So Dave might say, looks great. Let's discuss tomorrow. And he can then send that message back to me. So when Dave put this message into the private message thread, an email was sent to me that will let me know that there's now something new for me to look at in Verify. So let's go ahead and navigate back to my email. It says an email from Dave Martin. It says new secure message via Verify. And if I click this message, I can see a link into the private message from Dave. And if I click it, I'm taken straight into my Verify account because I'm already logged in and I can see this message from Dave. So Dave and I can send messages back and forth. We can share documents all with this incredible security and it's as simple to use as any messenger. So that's how easy it is to share messages and documents inside of Verify. And remember, everything in Verify is encrypted with six encryption keys. So this is not only simple to use, but incredibly secure. We hope you'll enjoy using it. Thanks for watching this video.